Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 7 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add FX to your map. So uh, let's open up Radiant. Let's get this show on the road. This is like one of the best features about the new Black Ops 3 Mod Tools on how easy it is for you to add FX. Now, before, you would have to do a bunch of scripting and basically manipulating your um, CSG file, your zone source file. None of that is present here in this build. So that's cool. All right, so let's say uh, you wanted to add some fire, some smoke. Well, at least let's take a look at what effects we have to work with. So we're gonna, you're gonna right click on a blank area over here on the black. You're gonna right click and it shows you the options that are not visible. So we're going to go to FX browser, click on that. And here it is. Now let me pop this window out so you guys can see it a little bit better. There you go. Now, these are all the effects you have to work with. So there's animals, there's blood, there's the breeze, there's destruct, there's DLC, what's in here? Factory, light castle let's say uh here's fire so let's drop some fire onto our map now let's look for which one we want to use if anything let me make this a little bit bigger and uh let's pick um a barrel factory zom fx so you're just gonna left click it and just drag it onto your map there you go now hit escape and as you can see, it's in there, but it's not showing. Now, why is that? So what we have to do is go all the way to the right of your uh, camera window. And you're going to see this tab called FX. You're going to click on that tab. And you're going to make sure that FX rendering is enabled. So mine's is on. That's good. Now, let me drag this up now when you drop effects in it leaves you a little circle so you know where to select it so select that circle you can move it around with the with the handle now the reason it's not showing up is because we're not on a different view to see the effects so let's see what happens when we press f7 nope nothing all right press f8 and there we go now it's rendering rendering out the effects and that's how you do it. Now let's add something else in here. Let's add uh, this one. No, not emblems. Um, let's add some fog. Make it look like it's actually working. Put it right here. Give it a second. Come on, don't freeze up on me. Got to give it a sec so it can load up. And there you see it. You see the fog over there? Let me bring it to where I have. Let me drop this down. Let me bring back the 2D window. Let me just get rid of this for a sec. Okay from a top view and where that's the new one this is the other one I have okay so let me bring that over select that one move it over here put it right on the circle and hit escape and now let's press F7 press F8 Hey, why didn't it move the graphics? I guess I have to stop the rendering and enable it again. No. Move that up right there. Press escape. Let me back out to F7. 
Now back at right. Now there should be a button to reset the effects. Let's see. FX and retrigger FX. Click on that. And there you have it. <clears throat> That's how you add effects to your map. And these flames aren't matching up perfectly. They're like going all over the place. So you would just pick out another FX. So let's go back to FX, FX browser. And let's drop something else in here. Oh, there's smoke. Yeah, that one. Right there. And there you have it. Bump this over here. Now remember, you're going to have to re-trigger the effects so it could line up at the right spot. So go to FX and go to re-trigger, selected FX. Oh, there you go. Now it's in the right spot. And that's how you add FX. Let me move it over a little bit. Go from a top view. There we go. Now let me re-trigger it again. There you go. Now it looks perfect. And we have two different types of smoke with fire. So there you have it, guys. That's how you load effects into your map. So remember. Um, right click on the black area, go to FX browser, bow, right there, you know, pick the effects you want, left click it, drag it over, there you go. Now let's say if you want to, if it's not showing, remember, go to FX rendering enabled, make sure that's on. And if you move the effects around, just go to retrigger FX. And Bob's your uncle. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.